Here we have a Chromebook Acer 14 inch. This video is going to show you how to get the Play Store on it. So as you can see here, I've got the icon, if I load that up. Okay, so I'll leave a link in the description for how to do this step by step. So you essentially need to put the Chromebook into developer mode, which is really easy to do. Um, you just hold down uh, Escape, Refresh, and then the power button. So hold those down, those two first, Escape and Refresh, and then tap the power button. It'll then take you to a screen with an exclamation mark and then you just need to disable uh, verification mode and that will then wipe the Chromebook so bear that in mind it'll wipe it you need to set it up again you then need to bring up this which is a uh, terminal page for Chromebooks you do that by do pressing Control alt t and then what you'd have to do here is type in shell, get it into that mode. And then here's the command right there. So sudo su first, so I'll just type that in. Okay, now we've got roots. Okay, I'll just copy that. Control C and then I've already done it, so it's giving me this error. And then run that. It's pretty easy stuff. Yep, and then this last bit here. Done. And then all you do is I think it's uh, control shift Q Q twice, control shift Q twice, and it will sign out. Just need to sign back in now. This is not my Chromebook. <laughs> and then you have the Play Store. You have to bear in mind that if you do do this, it's a, it's a bit of a hack. If you restart the machine, it disappears, then you have to run the commands again. But all the apps that you install will still be there. For instance, I got Plex over here. It, j it just pops back when you do the command. Um, it's quite slow because of my internet. I'll just minimize that for now, close that. Leave. Okay, so we've got Plex. I have to say, I'm really impressed. This is not a very powerful machine, but it runs Android apps pretty well. I got it in TV mode, so it's looking pretty good. Yep. Alright, and then I got Showbox over here which I downloaded from ABK Mirror. Right, so what this can do is pretty clever actually. You can set it to choose another player to play from. Let's go for that. And then it opens up in the Chrome browser, which is pretty useful because then I can just cast it to my TV. Oh, it's been a bit slow. Whilst that's loading, let's see what else we got. Popcorn time. Ooh. Wait. Popcorn time.
Yeah. Yeah. It's all looking good. What else we got? Netflix. Have I signed in? Yeah. Scrolls nicely. No jittering. It's really good. Yeah. I definitely recommend the Chromebook if, if you want to. This only costs £220. This is actually a Christmas present that I'm setting up. Decided to put this on there and a few other things. I'll probably have more videos out on this very soon. Especially if I get my own Chromebook. Or maybe I'll get a Chrome OS on here. Who knows? Um, oh yeah, one last thing. If you like this video, like the video. <laughs> if you love this video, subscribe. Subscribe now.